Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. I am Mike. That is my 1999 Porsche Boxster. As promised, we're going to start doing some of the audio on this. Uh, I did start a little bit of what's going on. I haven't posted a video with the holiday and emergency repair on my Jeep. And oh yeah, I got a full-time job still too. So let me show you what we got going on. So the car is up against the wall. It's in a spot where it's going to sit for most of the winter. I've got it set up so I can open this door the entire way and it's not going to interfere with the lift. I got plenty of room to walk, got plenty of room to work on the front trunk when that time comes, and it's on dollies. So when I want to pull it away against the wall and do the other side, I can. So I pulled this guy out of the door, and you can see, back when I was installing full-time, MDF is really all we used. And uh, here, MDF, you could tell, got wet. And when MDF gets wet, it expands, and uh, it just doesn't work out real well. So, wanted to remake this, wanted to redo it, get it a little bit different of a design, and what I came up with is this. This is all made out of PVC, routered, fits perfectly in the door. I got to countersink some of these holes, and uh, it bolts right back into the factory location, and it works perfectly. All right, so here is the factory speaker grill for the Porsche. This goes in the dash, and uh, I want to take that uh, that three-inch Focal, mount it somewhere on the in the center of this. But first, I need to get a template of this kind of egg shape that I got going on here. And realistically, I could uh, mark this with a pencil or a pen and uh, jigsaw it out and shave it and and, and get get that shape going. But what I'm going to do is a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and use this guy here, which is a, uh, a flush trim spiral bit. Uh, hopefully I can let this bearing just ride along the edge here and get a perfect, perfect profile. But first I'm gonna go ahead and cut this piece of, piece of wood down. Uh, looks pretty good as it is, but, uh, but I can cut it down so the router bit doesn't have to work that, uh, that hard. Okay, so this is all ready to be routered. Uh, I, I went ahead and chopped up my, uh, my MDF, did a little bit of a rough cut to get it to uh, close to the shape so I can go ahead and uh, start trimming it around. Uh, what you're going to do is the bearing is going to ride around the grill and then uh, it's going to flush cut it and so you can give it, get you an exact copy. Oh, and by the way, don't uh, do what I did and leave your jigsaw running uh, right next to your coffee because you get a bunch of sawdust in your coffee. It doesn't taste real good. Let's see how this works. All right. I don't know what's worse, MDF dust or PVC dust. Uh, but as you can tell, I've got a really nice template to the shape of the speaker grill on the dash now. Screw holes are exactly in the spot they need to be. Uh, it's routed all the way around. I cleaned it up with a little sandpaper. Now I can start routering a couple of these out of PVC uh, to, uh, to show you guys what I'm thinking. I attached the template to a piece of PVC with some double-sided tape. Now we're going to router it out. Okay, so since I got a driver's side and a passenger side, now I have two pieces that are exactly the same. Holes are in the exact same spot. And so next I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of a, 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 a round over or a chamfer on this. I've got the chamfer bit set up here. And let me tell you something. When you guys are setting these bits up, grab a scrap piece, give yourself a, a test pass before you start working with the, uh, the, the finished material. Trust me, you'll save time remaking some of this stuff. The other reason I left all three of these together is so I can ride this bearing up against the template to give a better profile. Okay, so other than making a mess, I, uh, I went ahead and kind of rabbited that out, uh, which you kind of see exactly where I'm going with this. So you can see my factory Focal grill is in there. The four is in there. The, I'm sorry, the three is in there. And, and you can see a little bit there. 
So haven't decided if I'm gonna round it off yet or if I'm gonna go ahead and 45 it. So I'm gonna cut a couple test pieces and uh, see what we're working with. Both my little avocados here are, uh, are nice and sanded. Uh, I took off some of the rough edges. Uh, I, I, I test fit one of them in my dash and here, let me show you guys how it looks. Once again, I think it looks pretty good. Um, haven't fully decided if it's sitting up too high. I, you know, I may have to wrap it in some kind of uh, Alcantara vinyl and see uh, see what uh, what I think as far as the height goes. Um, but I think I, I like the way it's turning out. I like the 45. Um, I really wanted to do like a 45 or a chant or a round over on on the inside here, um, but uh, it's been uh, it's been a little challenging, especially when I wrap it out the back here for that grill to sit close. Uh, so I hit it with a little sandpaper. Uh, still in the mock-up stages, so it may change. I think they turned out pretty good so far. Uh, so now I want to see exactly how we're going to mount these speakers. You know, so at the end of the day, I want it to look like that in the dash with the grill uh, and then the speaker coming through to the backside. And uh, if we look back here, Oops. So if we look back here, that's where the speaker is. And so I, I need to make something that will attach this to this. Uh, this is pretty thin here, so I don't want to put some screws in there. So haven't fully decided yet. Stay tuned. Let me think about this. So here's what we got going on. As you guys were with me earlier when I built this template for the, uh, for the dash speakers, uh, I also built this, which is uh, it was a, which is a little bit ring. I got to drill some holes in it so I can mount that ring to the backside of my uh, my grill that I made to be able to hold the speaker in place. Um, nice thing about using a router is I don't have to jigsaw all these things out. I could just router them out, make exact duplicates of uh, of what I got with my flush trim bit. Uh, use the uh, the forty five inch chamfer bit to be able to go ahead and give it a little bit of an angle so when it sits on the back it goes in the dash nice. And, and here, let me show you how this whole thing goes together. And we'll just put this thing upside down for right now so I can show you. And speaker will be there. And then this will do that, and it'll hold the speaker in there. And then I can put the grill on the backside. I can put some uh, gasket tape in there, and it'll be, uh, it'll be baffled very nicely. Flip it over on the other side, and that's how the speaker will look. Um, like I said... Routers are great, but they make a mess. As you can see, my little work table over there, you can see my floor, and uh, here, look at my arms. Yeah, besides hair, I got a bunch of dust all over me. So let's, uh, let's get to mounting one of these. And for now, it's done. So here, you can see my little piece on the back. Uh, I got three screws holding the speaker in. Uh, I drilled the holes originally in the wrong spot, and uh, it wouldn't have worked, so that's why I re-drilled them in different spots. Um, Good thing you can't see the holes that I drilled extra, but then again, who am I kidding? I'll probably remake these things just because. Uh, and here is all my mess. Uh, as I close out today, I'm gonna be doing some cleaning here, which you guys don't need to hang around for. I will take care of that. Uh, but let me give you a, a shot of the car. I put my baffle in so you guys can see exactly what it looks like installed. Uh, more than likely, I will paint it black, and I got some Dynamat to go over the top of it to stop it from uh, resonating. The, uh, the dash, is complete as far as the mock-up goes. I like it. Uh, I may have to wrap it in Alcantara just to see how it looks and see how it is. Not 100% sure if I think it's too high or not. Beautiful part about those templates in my router table is I can go ahead and remake them in quarter inch and then see which ones I like better. My full kale logo on the grill there is exactly the look I was going for. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I am covered in PVC and MDF dust, so I gotta clean this place up uh, before I gotta go pick up my kid from school. Um, next time I do a video, we will be doing something with the doors, kind of like the dash. I've been thinking about it for a couple weeks, so uh, not 100% sure, but uh, I will uh, definitely let you guys know what's going on. Uh, other than that, throw me a thumbs up, throw me a comment, uh, let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, because uh, there's gonna be more to come.